very irritating, very loud, but that's what people loved about KSI. Mm. And we were in Amsterdam. It was freezing, minus whatever it was. It was ridiculous. And uh, I knew that he'd been paid thousands and thousands yeah, of yeah, pounds. Yeah. And I couldn't move on from talking about Eurofan without touching on KSI because I had to go back <laughs> and watch that episode because straight away you see KSI in the thumbnail and you click it, it's, yeah, everyone's guilty. What was it like? Because for me, that was prime KSI. 2013 comes on screen. The second you pan over the cameras, that KSI, full of energy, full of life. That was him perhaps in his prime. What was it like working alongside him? Um, different, different <laughs> is, is the best way. I think... The world of YouTube, and this isn't to, to not KSI in any way, I actually really got on with him. Um, once the camera's off, yeah. I found him to be, actually I could connect with him, I could engage, I could chat um, and find out a little bit about his life story. I was like, uh, mate, do you want to go for a drink? He said, I don't drink. I was like, well, I'll have <laughs> a pint. You can have whatever you want. Let's try and connect. And yeah. I actually really got on with him and, and, and understood his vision and what he wanted to do with his channel but he was being paid a huge amount yeah, I bet. to be there because he had the subscribers, because he had the followers mm. on Copper 90 at the time. Um, so there were different shows, uh, essentially, if you imagine. Um, yeah, like there, there was there was Poem Vuge, comments below. Yep. Um, and then you had KSI was doing one where he would just travel to places, meet other FIFA fans who yep. like enjoy playing the game. And he would just be... There's no other word for it. Irritating is probably the best word yeah. for it. Very irritating, very loud, but that's what people loved about KSI. Mm. And we were in Amsterdam. It was freezing, minus whatever it was. It was ridiculous. And uh, I knew that he'd been paid thousands and thousands yeah, of yeah, pounds yeah. To, to, to be there. But we got on. I remember I was having an, a coffee in a coffee shop and the producer and my t the team that we were working with were like, you've got to do something, KSI. You've got to go in there, cause, do be KSI. Go and mm. cause uh, chaos. And that's when he ran into a coffee shop, shouted. Everyone stopped, <laughs> looked around. They thought it was a robbery. And then he just picks me up and carries me out. And it's like my face is grimacing. I'm embarrassed. Yeah. But that was the, the, what made the show interesting. But some of the best moments were where just him and I were at the in Ajax's stadium watching them win and uh and fans would come up who knew who he was and we were just able to just chat as two mm. guys going to watch the football so freezing cold weather he was actually really sound really got on with him when the camera wasn't rolling when the camera was rolling I was like what is he gonna yeah. do <laughs> how is he gonna make chaos and, and I'm like yeah jovial but I'm being professional. That's the one yeah. thing when I got into you're presenting. You're it together. Like, yeah, you're, I'm, I'm the straight guy now. I'm yeah. like, I'm never normally the straight guy. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But yeah, epic. And and from meeting him and how that helped Eurofan and more people's eyes and attention were brought to it. But yeah, so so uh, very, very cool. And just to explain it, when went to Romania, Cluj. I'd never been to Romania before. Didn't know what to expect. Bumped into Max Rushton. Um, and Lee Dixon, they were out there filming something, I think for Soccer AM, and end up trying to blag a, an interview with Lee Dixon ahead of the match. And that, that was the, the, the kind of energy of the place, like being in the same, on the same flight as Gareth Southgate. Um, to, awesome. And you're just like, I'm so in this world yeah, and, and not, and very much far removed from it. But um, yeah, KSI, all the best to him, uh, but we, we, we're we not staying in, in contact. I mean, I did message him a couple of times, mm -hmm. but I didn't get a reply. So it's, yeah, thanks for bringing it up.